it's a new day and i think it's time for a new vid i don't even know what number i'm on at this point like we all know already when it comes to tutorials i'm the guy to look for also this season i feel like they patch certain things because I, I don't know i came into season 8 feeling a little weird with my drill moves and my jump shot so that means i gotta put y'all on it what i got new and what i changed also for the labs i'ma do it a little bit more different now before i used to pick random people like throughout the day to lab now i'm gonna be picking one person from my youtube comments to lab them throughout the week and try to turn them into a comp guard and it might be in the video too but besides that i think i know what time it is let's get right into the video that boy chance he him he him he ain't even touched the man All right, cool. Let's not waste any time whatsoever. Let's get straight into the business. If you've been keeping up lately, you should have most of the things I got on. Everybody knows now I switched straight to Kimball Walker. I don't use Trey Young anymore. But if you use Trey Young, there's no problem to me. The best ones in the game is Trey Young and Kim Kimball Walker. For my dribble style, it will always be Michael Jordan because 2K fails to release anything better than that. Every, every other like one that comes out like in the new seasons, they all just don't compare to Michael Jordan. The only things I want to say I really changed was my moving crossover and I changed that to LeBron James just because I feel like they low-key passed the Jason Tatum and it makes me do this little weird sham guard animation sometimes. And in one of my like how to be a calm guard tutorials, I told y'all, y'all moving crossovers changes up the delay while you dribble so some crossovers make you feel different when you do momentum and all that. Another thing I've been low-key trying out and it has been making me better is I took off my park jump shot emote. I don't know why this happens to me so much, but I feel like without the jump shot landing, I don't get like different releases every time. Like I get like a consistent release a lot. So if you feel like you're missing a lot and you got different timings, you should probably take off your jump shot landing for the one time. How should I start this video out? Should I start off with the hard move? or the easy move i don't know how i be learning all these new moves still in the game but i feel like we reaching real close to the end of what i could really teach y'all in this game because i pretty much taught y'all everything i know already but this dribble tutorial is going to be mainly on moves that really get you open like this move right here called the left stick crab by now it's season eight season nine every lockdown that plays the game at least at one point in stage knows oh play a 6-1 at the three-point line he won't also slide you or you'll go for a blitz the thing about the left stick crab you can really do it while you're dribbling in front of the lock you can like push him behind you just by not even flicking your right stick down so it doesn't take any stamina so you can have enough time to shoot the shot too to perform a left stick crab it's in the name you don't need to use your right stick you don't need to use r2 all you're gonna want to do if you're running to like the left side or the right side you're gonna want to hold your left stick to the opposite direction diagonal it's so simple basically run up top right then hold your left stick bottom left then if you're doing it to the left side your left stick top left then your left stick bottom right so you can go to the right side this move is a little bit more efficient than the odds slide it just didn't take up as much space as the odds slide does so you don't get ripped as much with this move the next move i want to talk about is not really a, a move that's gonna get you open every time but it's just a move to add to your combos that i haven't really talked about it's a it's the i call it the momentum slide if you played other 2ks this move right here looks glitchy a little bit it looks like you're playing an o2k again and it's really easy if you know how to momentum already all you gotta do is just add l2 to it some of y'all still don't know how to momentum yet and i'm gonna show y'all real quick i've been momentuming since 2k17 and i would never forget how to do it it's almost the same way every year to perform on momentum it's really easy probably one of the easiest moves in the game hold r2 make sure you hold an r2 the whole time because if you're not holding r2 your player will not perform momentum plus if you're delayed it might give you this move right here you see that right there a little like hop animation but all you gotta do is flick your right stick top left then your left stick top left while holding r2 if the ball is in your right hand i do momentum in every single combo i do just because it just changes into a lot of moves and just your standstill dribbling combo just look way better when you add momentum to it and if you're having trouble with this move it's not but i'm telling you it's not hard you probably just have a little bit more of a delay or you can try in a personal workout with an AI so it won't be as delayed as you think. 
So then if you're doing it to the right side, it's basically the vice versa method. So bow in your left hand, flick your right stick top right, then your left stick top right while holding R2. And trust, if you don't get it first try, bruh, just give it a couple tries before you give up. Because I be trying to lie to people and they be giving up after the first try and I be telling them to keep going and they be getting it after the fifth try. Alright, but now it's time for the next step. For the final step, all you're doing is tapping L2 when you get that momentum and it's that easy. The only reason when you look at the hand cam I'm tapping L1 instead of L2 is because my L1 and my L2 buttons are switched. And it's not really different either of the way, just tapping L2 after your momentum. You could do it out of a speed boost too if you want to. So if you say if you want a momentum, then speed boost, then hit you with the little hezzy. So look, it'll basically look like this. Like you just comboing up the core, boom, boom, with everything I told y'all before. So you just adding the hezzy to it. So I go left, right, boom, 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 slide. The little slide, the momentum slide, whatever you want to call it. It's just for a flashy move right there. It looks very clean when you're dribbling with the ball. And as a standstill dribbler, it's pretty nice to be able to just slide around the court. And you can possibly do a behind the back after that and shoot a three. I'll show you how I clip right now. Just watch me work right here. Look, momentum slide, momentum slide again. Hit them with a the little in and out. Oh my God, behind the back to the pass fake. Oh my Lord. Y'all can't even say I taught y'all all those moves already. Yeah, I literally, literally can't say I gatekeep my moves. I try to teach y'all everything I know. And another move you can honestly learn how to do more. I taught y'all this move already. It's the front side misdirection. But when you do the move, you can actually run out of it. Like, you can run to the side. That move is really easy. If the ball is here and right here, you're going to want to flick your right stick top left and your left stick bottom right so you can do it. But when you're running, don't forget. You can crab back to the other side and you can push your defender behind you. You're really like a magician with the board really when you dive in misdirection because you can run to the left and the point of the move when you run to the left you can go back to the right that's the point of the move like it's a misdirection so if you come coming forward off the court and the lockdown trying to play you back or you're trying to play like your comeback you do the little misdirection and you keep running to the same side i'm telling you this move is like one of the top moves you can learn in the game because it doesn't take as much stamina as the one behind the back the other misdirection behind the back, that takes at least like half your stamina off of three of those. But the front misdirection is like barely wastes any stamina whatsoever. So basically, all you're gonna wanna be doing is doing both of the moves I already told you already. That's the left stick crab, then the front side misdirection. The only time you're gonna be wanna add in the front side misdirection when you do the left stick crab is when the defender is not fully behind you and you just wanna push them just a little bit more. Cause when you play against some locks or some decent locks they will jump to try to block you from behind and most of the time they might just get the block off the hasta slide that's why i do the left stick crab a little bit more now than the hasta slide but don't get me wrong the hasta slide is still a great move to use but locks i feel like locks pretty much caught on to it in general that's why i added a little bit more to it just so you can get open way better so don't forget left stick crab then do the front side misdirection to push your defender behind you and it's that simple, but I think I, I think I got time to teach y'all one more thing. I'll put y'all on one more. This move right here, this final move I'm going to be teaching y'all, you could do this with the Kimball Walker size up and the Kevin Durant. So I'm sorry for you Trey Young users, y'all can't do this move right here. It's basically a step back, a little like misdirection. I don't know how to, what to call it yet, but it's basically a step back misdirection. There's two different cheesy moves you could do with the Kimball Walker, and this is one of them. So you can spam the step back over and over again until your defender plays up, and you can rim run, or you can shoot the three after that. To perform this little cheesy, glitchy step back, all you're going to want to do with the boys in your right hand, hold your left stick top right while holding R2, and just keep flicking your right stick down, and it's that simple. Same thing for the other hand, just vice versa. Now, if you want to do the glitchy step back into the misdirection, all you're going to do is flick your right stick down, then hold your left stick to the top left, then flick your right stick bottom again. Now, I know that sounds a little bit confusing. I'll explain it again. Once you flick your right stick to the bottom, do the step back, then you're going to want to hold your left stick top left just for one second so you can cross, then hold your right stick down again and do the step back. And this is how it should look right here. You see how I do like a little fake look? Like I'm out of go to the left, but I'm really going back to the right. It's a really simple, really effective move. If you get it down, add it to your combo. You see how it looks when I dribble back and forth with it. It looks very cheesy when this big fat mascot. And I know y'all can get it down. 
all right be at that part of the video if you made it this far i got a surprise for you so now with the labs if y'all been paying attention now i'm picking people from my youtube comments to lab for that week because we are coming to the end of 2k23 and 2k24 is right around the corner i'm gonna be labbing the people that's already subscribed and i've been seeing no comments already on my youtube video so if you're new here make sure you hit that sub button and i'll be sure to try to lab most of y'all before the year over Bye, have a beautiful time.